The fallout continues tonight after state rep Joel Jones is charged with sneaking a handcuff key into jail. The Inkster lawmaker removed today from all of his legislative committee assignments. Two days ago, in fact, Jones was taken into custody, accused of violating his bond as he awaits trial for drunk driving and other charges. Prosecutors believe he brought a handcuff key into the jail and they slapped him with new charges yesterday. Jones returns to court tomorrow on the drunk driving case that stems from a traffic stop in Livingston County. And Speaker of the House Jason Wentworth released a statement today after removing Jones from the committees. It reads in part, and this is a quote, that behavior hit a new low yesterday when he appears to have made a bizarre attempt to escape from jail. And this from House Democratic leader Donna Lisinski of Sio Township. Our priority is providing him with the support he needs to meet these challenges and stay healthy. We are focused on, on ensuring that Rep Jones has a fair pathway to accountability so we can move forward together. State Rep Steve Marino speaks out as state police investigate claims of domestic abuse by a fellow state lawmaker. Marino says he regretted not disclosing his relationship with State Rep Marie Manugian to leadership. He maintains, though, the relationship ended more than a year ago. In a statement today, Marino says, and here's the quote, I will be clear, the insinuations made are nothing more than politically motivated character assassination that I am confident will conclude as a waste of the public's time, end of quote. Marino has been stripped of his committee assignments, though, as he goes through the legal process. A town hall meeting on the gas leak in Flat Rock is just now getting started at this hour, and it follows this afternoon's open house, which was at the Flat Rock Community High School. Officials say the gas has been cleared from the sewer system. 1,100 homes impacted by the leak from the Ford plant, but people still have a lot of questions about what went wrong and what may happen in the future. Was this allowed to happen, that there weren't alarms, that this alarming amount of gas is leaking out, whether it's in the soil or it's in the sewer or whatever? Well, we want to know if we're going to be healthy. I just want to know who's going to uh, protect our property values and who's going to protect our health short term and long term. Lots of questions. Ford sending $500 checks to people in those evacuation zones. Officials do say it could be several weeks before people are eventually allowed back inside their homes.